Oh god. Okay, guys, I really didn't want to make this video. I really didn't, okay? But from my last video, I got so many comments saying, Hey, Leafy, I'm a huge fan here. I just wanted to say that you're doing a fantastic job with this. But I gotta be real with you, man. Your crazy story videos are the only thing keeping me off heroin. And I also want to say that this video is going to be one of very few. I don't want this channel to become fucking Drug 101. And a bunch of people are like, yo, if you want to learn what fucking crack heroin's like, check out Leafy's newest video, The Crack Experience. Like, I don't want that to be my channel, man. This channel name is Leafy Is Here. Not Leafy Likes Fucking Heroin. Like, oh my god. But yeah, guys, treat this as an exclusive because I don't think I'm going to be making more of these in all honesty. I don't think I really want to. But if you guys really like these stories, be sure to leave a like. And I might tell another story that's a lot like this one, okay? Just a little bit. But without further ado, this is the Molly Experience. So about a year ago, I'm staying with this girl from Texas for about a week. Now, there's a lot of background story behind why I was staying and stuff like that. But I don't want this video to be 50 minutes long and it's pretty unnecessary. So one day, me, her, and these two other dudes are all hanging out, and her and one of the dudes start talking about Molly and how they're going to be doing Molly tomorrow, and how she's about to pick up a ton of Molly. Now, I don't want to say that these people were like Molly fanatics, but they fucking loved Molly, okay? And after like two minutes of them talking about Molly and what they're going to do tomorrow, they look at me and they're like, yo, Calvin, you should totally join us, man. And the girl even offered to pay for my Molly, which was like 20, 30 bucks, just because it was my birthday coming up. And I'm just like, dude, what the hell, man? I always wanted to try this shit. It's my birthday, and she's gonna pay for me why not and they actually didn't even invite the other guy or I shouldn't say they the girl didn't invite the other guy she wanted like nothing to do with him which was kind of sad but also pretty fucking funny I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so in the back of my mind I'm not gonna lie guys I was like yo I'm gonna get some fucking ass tomorrow <laughs> and I actually got something that I'm gonna remember a lot more than a piece of ass man it, it was pretty crazy I'm just let's get back into the story okay so the next day comes around and I'm not gonna lie guys I get pretty fucking paranoid the night before I kept looking up stuff about Molly and I saw all these articles about young teen takes Molly shits his pants diarrhea all over the place then dies five minutes later on top of that the Dude that's taking Molly with us, you know, the Molly fanatic, keeps getting me fucked up by saying shit like, Yo, you're gonna be fine, dude. It's a great fucking time. Just be sure you drink a lot of water, though, because if you don't, it will fucking rip your asshole in half. Okay, just for the record, he did not say that, but he did tell me that I should drink a lot of water because people have died. Because when you take the Molly, it dehydrates the shit out of you. It's like a fucking sponge. It just... So eventually, the time comes. She comes up to me. She has the Molly. It's like a pill. And uh, I swallow the pill, I'm sitting there, and I think, well, this is the fucking end, time to die! So fast forward a bit, everybody has taken the pill, we're all sitting down, well, except for the guy that wasn't invited, he's just kind of sitting there being very awkward. You know, looking back at it now, it must have been really fucking awkward for him, because, like, think about this, everyone's sitting there about to fucking get fucked up on this molly, I'm shitting my pants over it, one of the guys is hyped about it. The girl's really hyped about it. They're all talking about Molly and what I'm about to fucking experience. And he's just kind of sitting there like, hello, I wasn't invited. But anyways, yeah, we're just sitting there and I'm getting really fucking paranoid. It's very obvious. I'm starting to like fucking sweat and shit. And uh, we have nothing really to talk about now. So she just decides, hey, you guys want to go to the apartment pool? And we're like, yeah, let's go. So it was about a five minute walk from her room to the apartment pool and on the way there I started getting less and less worried and it's hard to explain but I just started feeling good you know. I felt relaxed but I didn't feel sleepy or like wanting to like lay back. I just felt a little bit hyper but also just I just felt good you know. It's, it's really hard to explain because it wasn't like a hype like yo let's go boys but it was kind of like I was like energetically happy like I wanted to jump up and down and I felt really good right. And one thing that really stood out to me was there was a huge puddle on the way there like a water puddle right and everyone walked around it and I walked right fucking through it just because of how good I was feeling so eventually we get to the pool and there's a small little mini fence surrounding the pool right and the girl realizes that she forgot her key now it wasn't a big deal we just jumped over the fence it was like a small mini fence and I could it's not that's not hard you know it's not like I was drunk or something but we walk we jumped over the fence and we started walking to the pool and I just remember at this point in time I literally was not worrying at all I don't think I was thinking at all either I was just feeling really good and I put both of my legs in the pool and I just started fucking laughing like just literally like fucking maniacal collab just ah! okay maybe not like that but it, i was just laughing okay and you guys gotta understand this is not an empty pool there's fucking families all over the place and i'm just sitting there laughing like a fucking super villain i'm just ah! okay 
I cannot fake laugh. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop doing that. But I was just sitting there laughing my ass off. And there's fucking little Jimmy in the hot tub. Little Susie's in the hot tub as well. And everybody is staring at me. And I don't want to say it was obvious I was on drugs. But motherfucker, it was very obvious I was on drugs. And this goes on for like 30 fucking seconds, right? I don't know if it was the water that tripped me off. I don't know if it was something that someone said that I started laughing about. I don't fucking remember. But all I just know is I was laughing for like 30 fucking seconds straight. No stop for breath. And the girl just looks at me and she's like, and looks at everyone else. And she's like, we need to get the fuck out. So we're all speed walking the fuck out of the pool. But one of the guys that's also on Molly says, yo, this is just like Skyrim. And I don't know why he said that. I don't even know if it was him. It could have been fucking me. But all I remember was that fucking set me off and that was a huge mistake we're all power walking i stop dead center and i look at all of them they look at me and they're like what the fuck and i'm like guys i'm the fucking dragonborn so after i say that they all start fucking laughing but it was no joke I was literally the dragonborn in my fucking head. Now, you when you're on Molly, you don't see shit, but anyone that's been on Molly knows that some shit sets you off. And when they started laughing about that shit, I honestly was like, no guys, I'm the fucking dragonborn. So at this point in time, Pandora's box was opened. Everything was fucked. I start yelling, there's one they fear. Some call him the Dova King, the Dragonborn. And then I start fucking yelling at the families. Fucking Jimmy and Susie, Fushro Da. And I'm not joking about anything like this. I know there's going to be one guy in the comments that's like, I don't fucking believe you. But I swear to fucking God, dude, that this whole story is completely legit. I start running around the whole fucking apartment complex yelling Fushro Da at literally fucking everybody right and people are staring at me it's very obvious i'm on drugs they're fucking following me right and eventually we make it back to the apartment surprisingly i didn't get fucking arrested i have no idea you know i was literally causing a scene i was running through puddles and shit and um all night after that i just remember talking about fallout 3 i don't know how it switched to that but i was just talking about fallout 3 non-stop i even remember the next day and she literally came up to me and she's like you completely fucking ruined my high last night. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry. But you know what? Fallout 3 is a good game. No, but all night it was honestly just, you know what? Fallout 3 is a really good game. And if you don't like Fallout 3, I hate you. No, but that's pretty much the story. Um, nothing really happened after that. I just ended up passing out later that night. Um, I know a lot of people talk about after you start coming down from Molly, and you get really depressed. But I was, like, asleep before then, so I just got, like, a free pass, which was awesome. And um, the overall experience was really cool. I don't want to say that I recommend it because I don't want to, again, I'm not trying to make this channel Drug 101. You guys asked for this, but um, it was pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like if you guys want more stories like this, even though I really don't want to. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching all the support. Um, you guys are great. And don't forget that uh, Fallout 3 is a great game.